And as temperatures continue to drop, black ice is a concern tonight. And News 13's Samir Nefsi has been monitoring conditions for us all night and joins us live from downtown Asheville. And Samir, the weather is keeping more people home tonight. Yeah, hey there, you both to both of you rather. Uh, yeah, you know what? Not a lot of people downtown Asheville tonight. Uh, one reason being it's pretty cold, especially when that wind hits you. It is freezing outside. But another thing, the snow, you can see on this car already. There's some build up here, a light dusting throughout a lot of these parking lots here. We're on Page Avenue in downtown Asheville and just go ahead and take a look at the street. You can see there is snow starting to build up on the side or um, on the side of the street over here as well as the roads we had that rain earlier so you can still tell they're a little slick and that is the major focus tonight of course as the temperatures continue to drop a potential for black ice and those roadways to start to freeze over but as we were talking earlier not a lot of people in downtown Alshvin. I'll go ahead and take a look at some of this video that was a scene we captured earlier this afternoon uh, not very busy for a Friday night by any means. We spoke with some people who said that they weren't too nervous to actually head out the door, but a lack of people obviously means some businesses were going to shut their doors a little bit earlier, partly due to the weather as well. Here's what they had to say about the weather. We're not as nervous. Uh, we were passing the salt truck on the way up here, so I feel like y'all are more equipped for it. I love it. I wish there was more, but I mean, the roads have been pretty good and I, there's a lot of salting done, so I think that's useful and it's making an impact. Well, I noticed that there's nobody out though, which is kind of nice because it's kind of what we were looking for because, um, you know, the lines weren't as long. But yeah, there's like nobody out here, but it didn't really stop us from going. Well, this is another situation where it may be wiser to stay in and snuggle instead of trying to get out on the roads and get somewhere unless you absolutely have to. And the last person you heard from, David Uchiyama of the North Carolina Department of Transportation, says they have about 30 trucks out on the roads, at least here in Buncombe County, watching road conditions as well as, as well as salting area roads. Now, crews will be working 12-hour shifts tonight into Saturday and potentially on Sunday, depending on conditions. In Asheville, Samir Nafsi, News 13.